Hi, I'm Fede Gustafsson. This is my five and five with L, and I'm here today to show you this look. So I have prepped my skin with this face roller. It's my number one beauty secret. I always travel with it and I keep it in the fridge at the hotel and at the fridge at home. So I just give it a good old roll, kind of going upwards, motions to really get all the blood flowing and deep puff. And then the first product that I use in my everyday kit is this Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS. It just has a really wonderful creamy texture, which the name tells, but I hate it when the concealer gets really dry, so you end up looking really flaky at the end of the day. So it's... And I just kind of cover the, the redness, the occasional little breakouts, that we all get. Hmm. <laughs> and then when I feel like I've got all of the areas that I kind of want to conceal, I have a little brush. I think the brush is always really nice instead of using my hands because I feel like the brush is much lighter and it really, it doesn't absorb the product too much like I feel your fingers sometimes can. The brush is also a perfect multi-tool because you can then use it to whip on powder if you like, or I even use it to brush up my eyebrows. It's not the perfect eyebrow tool, but it works for me. <laughs> and then my second product is this wonderful Bon Essentiel. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it perfect in my French, but it's this amazing balm from Chanel. It's like a shiny stick and you can use it for so many different things. I just kind of whack it on all over. I was taught by the wonderful Pat McGrath on where to do your highlights. And I'm hoping I remembered this correctly so Pat won't be disappointed in me. But you kind of do your eyelids. You do a little nice V shape from the eyebrow down to your cheekbone on both sides. Nice little V to kind of get that nice cheekbone. Down your nose, top of the lip, and corner eye. And then you have a really lovely, just a natural, natural shiny highlighter. Let's see, you can even put it on your lips. My third step is I use an eyelash curler. This one is from Shiseido. This is something that I've always found incredibly terrifying, but it just, the results are so good. Just give it a good old one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And when I have them in a position I want, I just kind of tilt the eyelash curler out a little bit to give it an extra give it a little bit of an extra twist i love 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 the dior show iconic over curl i just feel like it's so light the brush is just as conservative and normal like i want it <laughs> i don't want any weird rubber brushes this is just lovely you can really reach everywhere it lasts so well when I was young, everyone would always put on so much mascara, me, myself included, and I think that's a trend that I'm quite happy that has died down. So I just give it just the tiniest bit on the, on the over lashes and the upper lashes to just open up the eye, make myself look a little bit more awake. I am by no means a pro to put on mascara, so the less I do, I feel like the easier and more natural it looks. Then, on to my last product, which is my newest obsession that I just love so much. is a Coucou Rouge Balm in the shade 914 Natural Charm. It's kind of like a more pronounced version of my own lip color. 
and it just it's so lovely to have a lip color that lasts all day and it gives you a really lovely shine it gives you that nice kind of 90s look without having to do the whole lip liner and and the whole shablam so this is my everyday beauty look thank you so much for watching my five and five and make sure to watch vikings valhalla bye